just entering B District National Park. That was the uh, the millstone. <laughs> On the way to uh, Edale to do the uh, Kinder Scout Circular Walk. Going to start from Edale, go by Jacob's Ladder, and uh, do the nine mile circular uh, solo hike today. No kids on my own we'll see what happens so just driving through the uh, peak district it's absolutely gorgeous amazing roads the weather is nice today as well uh, I've checked the forecast for uh, for Kinder Scout it said temperature 8 degrees feels like 3 30 mile an hour winds gusts up to 50 miles an hour so uh, that's why I didn't take the kids because last time I went up to uh, Mam Tor the wind was so strong it actually blew Victoria off her feet um, <clears throat> so the weather's clear no rain sunny but very very windy and today is the 24th of April 2022 um, it's actually the 90 year anniversary of the Kinder Mass Trespass. <clears throat> um, 24th of April 1932 uh, is when the Kinder Scout Mass Trespass happened. Uh, a guy called Benny and a load of other people from Manchester and Sheffield and all surrounding areas decided to protest and uh, go up and trespass. Uh, there was about 400 people that went up about half a dozen of them got arrested um, but that actually opened up uh, the movement for uh, opening up all these spaces and creation of the Peak District National Park which was uh, celebrated its 70th anniversary last year uh, 17th of April last year 2021 was the uh, uh, 70 year anniversary of the Peak District National Park which is the first national park created in the UK and uh, whilst I'm driving on the way to Edale I've just been listening to the podcast created by Mark Gwynne Jones a friend of mine that uh, we play together with in Psychic Bread um, he's a poet and he has created a podcast a series of podcasts called Voices from the Peak and um, there's three chapters the first one is called burning drake all about mining for lead the second one is called snow uh, all about the big winters that we used to have uh, the big winters on uh, uh, 47 and 63 and um, uh, the last one is called kinder scout and that's all about um, the industrial revolution the birth of uh, the industrial revolution the Kinder Scout itself obviously but the the birth of the uh, the streams all the water that comes down and creates the rivers and everything um, that gave power to the cotton spinning mills and it talks about the slavery and Virginia and uh, the cotton um, uh, Jebediah Strutt and Richard Arkwright it's a very interesting uh, podcast so I uh, highly recommend it so if you go on uh, Google type in voices from the peak um, it'll take you to the uh, the website and you can download all three chapters all completely free some fascinating stories on there some very interesting anecdotes music soundscapes and you know voices sounds of nature it's a it's a great uh, great audio production so um, so I've just been listening to that on the way to Kinder Scout to in inspire me I've never been up this is the first time I'm going up I'm going up solo without anybody um, prepared I'm layered up I've got food and drink I've got a map and compass so uh, yeah we'll see what happens
what, it feels amazing walking in the peaks, fresh air, glorious day, glorious sunshine, you can hear birds singing all the way, look at these, little waterfalls along the way, little streams, absolutely glorious. This is the start of Jacob's Ladder, oh, look at that beautiful stream. A wise man once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You can see the rocks up at the top. Kindeskoutelow trick point, four and a half miles, about an hour and fifty minutes. Sitting down, having some sandwiches. Cheers, Anna. The sun has gone behind the clouds, just shielding from the wind behind the rock.
alongside the river Kinder. It's glorious. A bit more shielded from the wind here. The wind up the top was insane. Beautiful. I tell you what, solo hiking is amazing. You get a chance to come out into fresh air, countryside, clear your head. There was a couple of places like Kinder, uh, Kinder Low Trick Point. There was loads of people, a couple of groups, about 40, 50 people pass. And then there's times like this, walking along the river Kinder. There's nobody in front, nobody behind. You're in the middle of the Pete Morlands, having to follow a map with a compass. And then just generally work out the direction and walk along and all this time to yourself. I've turned off my mobile data, so I've got no emails, no WhatsApp, no Messenger, no Facebook, no notifications coming in. And uh, it's glorious up here, absolutely amazing. Look at this little bogs, peat marshland, peaty bogs, peaty bogs. Well I kind of got lost a bit at the Kinder Downfall, I think I took the wrong path somewhere, ended up trekking across the moorlands, across the peats, had to get map and compass out, didn't know where I was, had to cheat, turn on the uh, mobile data on my phone and uh, get the Google Maps out and luckily I'm back to the path got to get to it though somehow it's all the way over there onto that path thank God for that I think we're back on track back on a rocky path yes found it good job it was in the middle of the night middle of nowhere bring these stones here and lay them in a nice path for people to walk look at the views incredible Dale to the old Mag's Head.
quite busy today. There's an event on called Kinder of Colour. Well, I'm back at the car in the Edale car park. That was quite an adventure actually. Can't believe I got lost on the moorlands on peat bogs for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Not a soul in sight. Trying to walk around, zigzagging across the moors, trying to uh, navigate with a map and compass and Google Maps. Found my way back to the main path. Ten miles in total. Five and a half uh, hours. No, four and a half hours. I left at uh, about one o'clock and I got back at half past five. So, uh, yeah, what a trek. Uh, glad I've got good boots on, although my feet are absolutely killing me. Uh, might have a bath tonight, actually. Uh, yeah, absolutely amazing. The wind up at Grindslow Low was horrendous. Walking along that ridge edge. Um, down here, it says 16 degrees sunshine. There's people there with shorts and t-shirts on. And uh, up at the top, it's two degrees. Uh, wind chill factor. Yeah, but absolutely amazing though. So nice to walk in the countryside and peace and quiet away from everything and uh, celebrate the uh, anniversary of the Kinder Scout mass trespass and remember all those people that started the movement and pioneered the ways to uh, create in the first national park. So uh, yeah, all right. Have a good day everyone.